It's strange and marvelous under the sea, full of all sorts of mysterious creatures and natural wonders. And despite the fact that the oceans take up about 70% of our planet, did you know that we've only explored about 5% of them? It only means that there are tons of creatures down there in the depths of the sea that we don't even know exist. This can be eerie when you think about the creepy and weird sea creatures I have observed so far. Let us get nice and comfortable while I give you 15 sea creatures you didn't know existed. And to enjoy more of these videos, subscribe to our channel to be a part of the Money Gang and click the notification bell to get a front row seat. At number 15, Axolotl. The axolotl is probably the strangest critter you could have in your fish tank. Large external gills that make these Mexican amphibians incredibly cute. Today they're mostly bred in captivity and rarely met in the wild. One of the things we need to know about them is that they're practically blind. Feeding them by hand is essential for the axolotl to be able to see its food. In 22,008, axolotls were listed as critically endangered as their wild population is dwindling. So please, let us take good care of them because they can live up to 15 years in a cozy tank at home. And it is just fitting for us to pet these cute ones, as one of the many definitions of axolotl is water dog. And little did you know that these cuties have superpowers. They can regenerate their gills, tails, and even limbs. A weird looking sea creature at number 14, Blobfish. Blobfish, also known as Fathead. This deep sea dweller is affixed with a permanent scowl and is basically a loose gelatinous sack. Poor guy was even named the world's ugliest animal in 2013. Blobfish are native to the waters off Australia and New Zealand, where they bob along the sea floor, scooping up any unsuspecting small creatures that cross their path, and they live at average depths of 3,000 feet. They munch on small crustaceans like crabs, sea urchins, and shellfish. And these goodies are sucked into the blobfish's mouth as it's floating along. Some experts believe the blobfish could be under threat of extinction. Since they live at great depths, they are rarely seen and not much is known about them. Having said that, right after you watch this video, go ahead and search more about this weird looking and not so popular sea creature and search for ways how to save them. Hashtag Save the Blobfish. 13. Carax Pulcher. The colorful crayfish is a new species of crustacean that was recently discovered in 2015. It is obvious that they got their name from the beautiful designs and vibrant colors that cover the top of their bodies. Oh, and by the way, on its native island in West Papua, the crayfish is considered a delicacy. I'm not sure about you, but how can I hurt that colorful sea creature? I'll think I'll pass. Being a recently discovered species, much is still unknown about the colorful crayfish. Population numbers have looked stable, however, due to their popularity as an export animal and for consumption, locals are starting to notice the species numbers decreasing. Number 12. Stovepipe Sponge These sponges take the shape of tube formations that can look pretty awesome at the right angle. Found in colonies over ledges around mangroves and over walls of coral and rocky reefs, this unknown sea creature feeds upon plankton to survive. A single tube can grow up to 5 feet high and 3 inches thick, and it never stops growing until it dies after hundreds of years. To protect themselves from the predators, these sponges can exude a highly toxic chemical. And number 11, Pink See-Through Fantasia. This unique creature found in the depths of the Sulawesi Sea and called a Pink See-Through Fantasia was discovered in 2007. The creature has pink transparent skin that shows off its intestines, mouth, and anus. So, uh, I'm not sure what to feel if I get to see this in the flesh, but I'd say it's pretty interesting. It is a previously unknown species of free-swimming sea cucumber. Just like other bioluminescent creatures, this species can emit light. In fact, when in danger, it uses that light to alarm potential predators. Number 10. Frilled Shark The frilled shark is one of the gnarliest looking creatures in the sea. If it looks like an ancient beast, that's because it kind of is. 
Now it could hardly, on examination, be taken for anything but a shark. Its appearance in the forward portion of the body, particularly in the head, brings vividly to mind the triangular heads, deep cleft mouths, and fierce looks of many of our most dreaded snakes. The frilled shark's mouth is just as terrifying as the maw of a great white. It's lined with 25 rows of backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth, 300 in all. Scary, right? Frilled sharks can be found all over the world, but you won't probably see it. Why? Because it typically resides in depths between 390 and 4,200 feet, so people rarely see these sharks unless they venture to the surface. This creature is a bit frightening. At number 9, Leafy Sea Dragon. The Leafy Sea Dragon looks like, well, almost like a leaf. This creature, closely related to seahorses, is found in the South and East Australian waters. According to National Geographic, they are some of the most ornately camouflaged creatures on the planet. They are covered in leaf-shaped appendages that allow them to blend in perfectly with seaweed and kelp to stay safe. Fun fact, the male sea dragon incubates the fertilized eggs. And another fun fact for you, money gang, sea dragons do not have any predators. Their combination of excellent camouflage, tough jointed plates, and sharp dorsal spines offer adequate protection. Researchers have even observed sea dragons curling up to present predators with a row of menacing spines. I bet you're shocked with these unknown and rare sea creatures. Stay tuned until the end where I reveal the deadliest marine animal known to exist. Number 8 on the list, Dumbo Octopus. You might think that they are some cute cartoon character in a video game, but it's a real life creature. And yes, the Dumbo octopus was named after Disney's Dumbo, the elephant character. Did you know that the dumbest octopuses live in the deep open ocean down to depths of at least 13,100 feet and perhaps much deeper, making this group the deepest living of all known octopuses? Life at these extreme depths require the ability to live in very cold water and in the complete absence of sunlight. They move slowly, flapping their ear-like fins, and they use their arms to steer. Unlike most octopuses, the Dumbo octopus doesn't have an ink sac because it rarely encounters predators in the deep sea. Christmas Tree Worm at number 7 Christmas tree worms look like little plants, but the creepy thing is that they're actually worms. They were named for their spindly tree-like appearance. Each worm has two brightly colored crowns that protrude from its tube-like body. These Christmas tree-like crowns are composed of radials, or hair-like appendages radiating from the worm's central spine. They kind of just hang out and don't get that big, but they are notable because of their appearance. Female worms release eggs into the water, where the male worms have released sperm. And also, Christmas tree worms rarely, if ever, move from their burrows. At number 6, Sea Angels. Did you know that somewhere in the waters of the Arctic Ocean, these little things are fluttering their translucent wings? These creatures with their translucent gelatinous skin and luminous glow almost make them seem unearthly. But these sea angels are actually real, living in the depths of our ocean. Cool fact, their wings are actually their feet, and they catch their prey by shooting tentacles out of their face, grabbing their prey. Then they rip their prey out of its shell, swallowing it whole. The saying looks can be deceiving is still applicable for unknown sea creatures. They might be called angels, but are actually a predatory sea snail. Number 5. Maris Orticana Like a multi-stage rocket, this bizarre microscopic creature, Maris Orticana, is made up of multiple repeated units, including tentacles and multiple stomachs. Maris Orticana is a large orange deepwater arctic colonial jellyfish. One interesting thing about this rare sea creature, like ants, a colony made up of many individuals has attributes resembling a single organism. Let us continue with number 4, Red Lip Batfish. In the cool waters of the Galapagos Islands lies an unusual fish. With its frog-like legs, lipstick red pout, and dangling lure, the Red Lip Batfish is truly unlike any other fish in the sea. Those lucky enough to have seen it in person can confirm the Red Lip Batfish is one of a kind. 
So what's the deal with this fashionable fish? Red lip batfish are typically found at depths of about 30 to 60 feet, but can be found in deeper waters up to 400 feet. They prefer to hang out in sandy or rocky bottoms, then help them blend into the sea floor. Fun fact, although they're capable of swimming, you're likely to find them walking on the sea floor by alternating their limb-like fins. And did you know that some scientists actually think their luscious lips help them attract mates? But more research is needed to be sure. Flamingo Tongue Snail at number 3 The Flamingo Tongue is a small marine snail that lives on coral reefs in the western Atlantic Ocean. This species is very colorful with bright pink or orange coloration and black spots. Interestingly, these colors are not associated with the shell, which is somewhat drab. Instead, the color comes from the marine snail's soft tissue, which is almost always wrapped around the entire outside of the shell. The flamingo tongue's bright colors serve as a warning of its poison to potential predators. The conservation status of the flamingo tongue is unknown, but they are often collected by people who mistakenly think that the shells are colorful. Sadly, as a result of that practice, scientists believe that their numbers are diminished in some areas. At number 2, the box jellyfish. The box jellyfish holds a powerful venom that is known to stun, injure, and even kill its prey. The jellyfish live no more than 12 months and float through the water. The box jellyfish itself grows up to 15 tentacles that can reach up to 3 meters in length. They are also known to eat up to 3 times per day. They are prone to shrink in size if they do not eat, and considered to be among the deadliest marine animals in the world. The toxins that lie within the venom of a box jellyfish are known to attack the skin cells, nervous system, and heart. Humans who have been stung can go into shock and drown or die due to heart failure before they have a chance to reach a shore. Although there have been at least 63 reported deaths since 1884, there have been many survivors. If stung, it is important to keep the heart pumping, so be prepared to conduct CPR. Money gang, be aware of their stingers. And the number one spot on the list goes to the Goblin Shark. Goblin Sharks live at the bottom of the ocean along the continental shelves, along the coast of Japan. They were named after mythical goblins in Japanese folklore. Since they're pretty slow, they have another way to grab their victims. Their huge mouths can actually extend out really far to grab victims that are getting away from them. These bad boys are the stuff of nightmares. Some scientists call them deep sea versions of the hungry hippos. And honestly, we couldn't have said it better ourselves. Goblin sharks are very rare and mysterious, with less than 50 goblin sharks have been seen since 1898. So if you're hoping to see one, chances are slim. Out of all the rare sea creatures on the list, which one were you really shocked about? Leave a note in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I reply to every single comment that is posted within the first hour. If you like this video, you'll have fun watching our videos on the biggest bulls in the world where we go over some of the most pumped up bulls known to exist. Peace.